हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम मैनाक फ्रॉम सिविल सेंटर एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू बैक टू आवर चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स इन आवर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज ऑन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड सीन हाउ टू इंपोर्ट अ जी प्लस वन बिल्डिंग मॉडल ऑफ अराउंड 650 हंड्रेड फिफ्टी स्क्वायर फिट फ्रॉम टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइनर टू टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चर्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू ऑन वर्किंग ऑन आर मॉडल सो दैट इट इज एज पर आवर मेड स्ट्रक्चरल ड्राइंग्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so first of all i'll go and check my structural drawing for my footings you can see that the footing sizes are f2 f3 and f1 so there are three types of footing marks here f1 f2 and f3 so let us go and check out our schedule of footing so that we have three types of footings mark f1 f2 and f3 having these sizes and these depths so first of all i'll go and change these three footing sizes in our tecla structures model that is f1 having sizes of 850 into 850 and depth of 250 mm so this is our tecla structures models i'll go to window and then click on view list and then we want our foundation level so we had named our foundation level as b1 in our thd that is tecla structural designer model so we can open our foundation plan and then click on okay so this is our foundation plan if we want we can also open another alternate plans let me just go to window then close all views and then we'll open view list and then we want along grid 4 and also we want our foundation level now we can tile this windows vertically so these windows have been tiled vertically now we can start working on our model so these three footings all were of the sizes f1 as per my structural drawings you can see here in the foundation layout all these footings have the mark f1 so we'll insert its size into the model 850 into 850 into 250 so i'm going to check its size its size is 700 so i will simply double click on it and change it to 850 and then i'll also change its size as 850 so i've done it now i want to change the depth so for that i'll right click on it and then click on properties so after that my properties windows pops up I'll also double click on it and then I'll simply change the thickness of this to 250. So it is already being set to 250. So we don't need to change this. So I have achieved the size of footing F1. Now similarly, I can also change the sizes of these footings or I can copy this footing and paste it to all footings of size F1. So I'll click on escape and then delete these footings. let us see go and see which other footings have the size f1 so as you can see only these three footings have sizes f1 and the remaining are f2 and f3 so i'll delete these two footings right click on it and then click on delete so these two footings have been deleted we can simply click on it and then go to edit after that we can go to copy and then select the center point of the column as my reference origin for picking and then we can pick the suitable destinations then we can click on escape so my three footings have been created as you can see here along this grid this is the footing size and the depth of the footing is you can go to the properties and check it out it is 250 mm and our length and width of the footing is 815 to 850 so we have done the changes for footing f1 now we'll go and insert footings in this two let us go and check our structural drawings we can see that this 1 2 3 and 4 footings have the size f2 so let us check out what is the size of f2 
So the size of F2 is 1050 into 1050 and the depth is 300. So we'll go to our Tecla Structures model and simply change the dimensions of one of our footings of size F2. So it has already size of 1050. Let us check its size. It also has size of 1050. So let us check its depth. For checking its depth, you can simply click on here and check its depth. So its default depth is 300. So let us go to our footing schedule again. You can see that our depth is 300. So it is OK. We don't need to change this. Similarly, here also, you can see that its sizes are 1050 into 1050. And for checking its properties, you can right click on it and go to properties. So its depth is 300. So it's OK. Then again, these two footings also have the sizes of F2. So let us check out 1050, 1050 and the depth by clicking on the properties, depth is 300 is OK. This footing also 1000 into 1000. So I need to change this. I'll simply go and delete this and then we can click on this and go to edit and then copy you Can copy it from here to here. So my footing has been copied. So I have applied the footings of size F2. Now the remaining footing is F3 having sizes of 1200 into 1200 and depth of 350. So as you can see here, these two footings have the sizes of F3. So we'll put the sizes as per our schedule. So let us check the size of footing F3. It is 1200 into 1200. As per our schedule, it is OK. Now let us check its depth. For checking its depth, we can right click on it and then click on properties. After that, we can see that after that, we can see that in our properties windows, the thickness has been mentioned as 350, which is OK as per our footing schedule. So we'll keep it. We'll also check this size. This also has the size of 1200 into 1200 and a thickness of 350, which is OK. So we have modified our footings as per our structural drawings. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert the reinforcements in these footings, which we'll do in the next video. So stay tuned to our channel and please do comment your feedback and also share with your friends because sharing is caring. Bye bye.